right, guys. Threw a layer of gla glass on here. Just because it's going to be more robust at that edge. Kind of keep it from cracking once I cut it and everything. Still have to do some filler work on top of this to get it all smooth and that. But this way, when I take the top on and off, it shouldn't chip, have any chips anywhere. So that and it helped me build up a little bit of a hollow spot on the top here. So, yeah. All right, guys. Got a real thin lick over here. It's got some really nice shape to it now. Kind of curves. Curves right in there, good. Just follows that line and then it has a curve with the cab this looks really good no peaks or points on it just got to sand it and probably give it a lick of fine filler here starting to take shape So after I sanded it down here, give her a little bit of a lick of primer. There's still some dents and stuff, but I mean, you know, 100 year old car, win some, lose some. Gun started to spit a bit on me right here. I might have to sand it and just do a spot. But it's looking pretty good. Got a nice, nice groove into there. And now you can see that these, they kind of go like this. They end in a nice peak on both sides. So you can kind of see some wrinkles in there, but whatever. Pretty sure I can get inside and push that out too. There'll be some of that I can take care of, like these little dents here. I might just pop them out from the inside. And then I got a little bit of filler in here to sand and then I'll do some smooth stuff over it. And yeah, But the Bondo I have, it's getting right down to the very last of the can and there's a little bit of flex or something in it there I don't know probably because I didn't put any of this in it yeah she's coming along pretty good like that's the last of the major major body work like there might be the odd thing going around and like doing dance or imperfections but that's her man she is almost ready for paint yeah, except for that. I don't really like that. But, yeah. Got this in yesterday. It's the tailgate strip for the other side to put in this body line here. So after it gets painted, we can start assembling some of the cool stuff like that. But, yeah. I think I'm going to give her one more coat after I sand that and then uh, give her some loving on this side here today and we'll see where we get from there. While we're at it, might as well see if Heavy Metal will wake up from her winter slumber. Man, baby.
So we got fine filler on this now. I gave that a second coat. There's a lot of dust on it. Still didn't sand that yet. I'm gonna wanted to put two coats on it and then sand it and then just spot prime that other one. So did some spot priming and stuff down there. Put a little bit more filler in. Still didn't fix that dent up there, but whatever. It'll be all right. All right, guys. So, got the fine filler on. Got her all sanded out. Uh, still got this back to do a little bit here, but that's just a little wee spot prime. Five minute fix. But, uh, yeah, that's her, man. She is ready for a light scuff and to lay some paint. So, kind of excited about that. So, now that she's in primer, I guess I can start working on the chassis. Start doing some welding and getting her how I want her. Got a couple other projects on the go too, I'm going to be bringing to the channel. I got a little bike, uh, motorcycle I'm going to do here too, so, uh, yeah. But, that's the Sinister Sedan in primer. Alright guys, have a good weekend and uh, remember, stay tuned. Da 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 da